I'm delighted to join you at this summit and would like to begin by thanking our host, President Biden, for taking the initiative to bring us together in a summit for democracy. Those of us who stand firmly for democracy know that it is something that we must never take for granted. It needs constant tending and renewal, and it needs to be defended whenever and wherever it comes under pressure. I would like to share with you some of the initiatives that my government is taking in Ireland to further strengthen and deepen our democracy. Ireland's first commitment is to combating all manifestations of racism, xenophobia, and related intolerance through a combination of legislation and educational measures. We will introduce a hate crimes bill to combat incitement to hatred and hate crime online and offline. We will also publish a new national action plan on racism, including measures to combat anti-Semitism, anti-Gypsyism and other forms of racism. Our second commitment is to strengthen the structures and supports that underpin the very functioning of our democracy. We will establish an independent statutory electoral commission, which will enhance and protect our electoral system into the future. We have established a future media commission with the aim of supporting a strong, independent and pluralistic media sector. It will identify a sustainable pathway for the media over the next decade and beyond. We will continue to support free and independent news media through a review of our existing defamation law and the introduction of a bill to reform current defamation legislation. Ireland's third commitment is to ensure greater equality in our society through the full integration of equality concerns into the budgetary process across all branches of local and national government. Ireland's final commitment is to make significant investment through our development aid programme to multilateral efforts supporting democracy and protecting civil society space around the world. As a proud member of the European Union, Ireland works actively with our partners to ensure that the protection of democracy and human rights remains at the heart of European Union support to other countries, including as a member of the Team Europe Democracy Initiative. Ireland's commitment to supporting democracy and human rights at home and internationally and to combat authoritarianism and global corruption is unwavering. To quote former US President John F. Kennedy, democracy is never a final achievement. It is a call to an untiring effort. We all must play our part in the untiring effort to protect the integrity of our democratic systems for the future. Thank you very much indeed.